1996, the London Missionary Society chose Roland and Elizabeth Hassel, plus 30 other missionaries, to serve in the South Pacific. Roland was sent as a carpenter and was considered by the society as being rather illiterate, but a stout young man with a rather bold disposition. In 1798, Tahitian headhunters forced them and their two sons to flee to Sydney, where they quickly won Marsden's favour with their missionary zeal and their astute acquisition of lands. Governor King gave Hassel government responsibilities and he was soon managing King's cattle property as well as other sheep and cattle breeders' farms. In 1814, he became the superintendent of the government's large cow pastures, stock and lands. He also acted as a contractor for government works and opened his own store in Parramatta and was a sergeant in the Loyal Parramatta Association of Volunteers. Hassel died at Parramatta on the 28th of August, 1820, leaving his wife Elizabeth, four sons, five daughters and farms totalling 3,000 acres. He never lost sight of his original designation of a missionary. On the 23rd of May 1823, after seven months at sea, the first Presbyterian minister, John Dunmore Lang, arrived in Sydney. His brother George, already living in the new colony, had pleaded with him to come and help relieve the low moral state of the settlement. Lang battled for basic human rights in the New South Wales Parliament. His popularity and strength made him enemies who unjustly sent him to prison. But the time spent in prison he valued. As he said, I require a few months of literary leisure to write. Lang covered the nation in his quest to advance the benefits of common people. He opened up Queensland and suggested how the state borders of Australia should be set out. He travelled England and sponsored shiploads of new immigrants. His funeral in 1878 drew thousands in the Sydney cortege. John Dunmore Lang's contribution to the expansion of Australia was immense.